y'all about to have a real conversation, y'all, about what's going on behind closed doors. My girl Shannon Boudram is here, and she's a sex expert who doesn't hold back when it comes to this topic of S-E-X. You look hey! fabulous! Oh, my God! You look amazing. We're kind of twinning it a bit. We're kind of twinning it. I'm, and these shorts right here, I have some similar shorts from Free People that are like that. Those are my favorite type of tie-dye, cut short shorts. They're like extended panties at this point. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, so let's dive in. Now, before the show began, we had the audience fill out an anonymous sex survey with all kinds of embarrassing questions, things you wouldn't answer if we knew it was you. But because it's 100% anonymous, we're hoping all of you were honest. Were y'all honest? Yeah. Okay, let's see what the results are. Now, first, the question was, how many sex partners have you had? What were the results? Now, the results are actually pretty consistent with the truth and reality. It is about 23% are virgins, about 54% 1 to 5, and 23% more than 10. And so, on average, people lose their virginity around 16 for girls, 17 for guys. And I think everybody here is probably in that age group. So, we're yeah. being honest so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very, very true. And everybody has that time of their first time. Like, it's not going to be typical. And it always ends up being kind of typical. Dang! Okay. <laughs> now, have you ever had a one? You got a personal story there. Right, tell. exactly. Yes, yes. Very damn typical. Can I just try? Some? It's over. <laughs> it's the typical, typical vibe. So now, the second question was, how many people have faked your orgasm? Now, what this was, was interesting. They said about. I think I know what that was. Thirty-seven percent said yes, and 63% said no. And that is that's not really, consistent not... with any other survey. Right, I'm like, that's so, usually the other way around. Yeah, for sure. Why, I wonder what, okay, we got some happy people in there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the audience is what I'm seeing. Well, Temple <laughs> University did a study that showed that 80% of women fake orgasms because they want to please their partner. Because most women don't know that clitoral stimulation is the main way to orgasm. Yes, people don't value A clap for the not, clitoris, it's, it's, always. It's, no, because there's <laughs> I didn't even know vaginal orgasms exist, but apparently they do. But I think it's a mental thing, and a lot of times you have to be allowing your mind to really just kind of relax and allow yourself to go there. But a lot of times, you know, it's, it can be a power thing sometimes in sex. I say for two-thirds of women, they will never really achieve orgasm through just penetration alone. They wow. need both. So don't put the pressure on yourself to have to perform like a porn star. Yeah. If you don't feel like screaming and orgasming 50 times off of two strokes, you don't have to. Yeah, yeah. I have a girlfriend like that. She just make the guy work for her. She'd be like this the whole time. <laughs> I'm like, girl, you know you're wrong for that, and she's in here right now. You know I'm talking about you. <laughs> okay, so the next question was, do you use condoms? Now, I, let's see what this one is. Now, this one was really interesting because of the fact that 21% said sometimes, 45 said never, and 34 said always. Now, this is only interesting when we get to the next question, which I'll let you read about yes. STDs. Have you ever gotten an STD? What is that number? 99% said no. Oh, 90% said no. That's uh, you, think th you don't think that's true, huh? The st statistically, an STD can be anything from a UTI, urinary tract infection, all the way up to HIV, but it can be herpes, it can be bacterial vaginosis. Yes. There's such a great range. One in four people under the age of 24 will get some type of STI or STD in their now, lifetime. Now, what is this whole HPV thing? Some people say it is an STD, some people say it's not. What is that really about? HPV is human papillomavirus. It is the most common sexually transmitted infection. Very hard to test in men. In women, it can cause cervical cancer, can cause gen genital warts. So this is definitely the one that you have to get a pap test for because if you don't, it can be a life-threatening illness. And that thing as well, too, is that for chlamydia, for example, which is extremely high when it comes to STIs we might get which in our so younger crazy. age, 50% of women will have no symptoms at all. So just because you think you've never had an ex any kind of STI doesn't mean that you haven't been infected. You still have to get checked. Yes, yes. Okay, now the other one is, how often do you get tested for HIV? This was pretty good. Round of applause for this. 63% said once a year, okay. which is amazing. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, we can, we can clap for yeah, that. Good for you guys. Um, what I want to talk about, though, is a 20% that said never, which is consistent with, of course, how many people in the audience are still virgins. But oh, okay. there's so many risky behaviors that you have to still keep into account. Getting a tattoo, for example, getting a needle, being in the hospital. So everyone should be getting tested regardless of the fact of if you've had one or 20 or none or sort of kind of one partner or so. Right. Now, do you believe in friends with benefits? This one is, I can say my thing. I think it's, that's a scary thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's scary. The reason why is because 
you can't, we're human. You cannot help but get your emotions involved. Whether it be the woman or the guy, that's, I feel like it's something you can't control. And sex is such an emotional thing. Even if you think about it physically, your spirits are still intertwining. And there's nothing you can do about it. But, you know what I mean? So if, I think it's dangerous. What do you think? Well, I think the stats support exactly what you said. Because it's scary. essentially 50% or so said no, and about 50% said yes, which means one person is like, I'm all for, and the other person is like, but my heart's broken. And that's always the case with these situations. It would be a great deal if it could be to think about being able to have your friend and release some stress out with them, but it always ends up in tragedy. For one person. For one person. Yeah. For one person. The other person cool in the game. <laughs> but then you over there in your pillow, just not through it. So let's switch gears a little bit and let's talk about drugs, a.k.a. mollies, that have been used a lot now these days as date rape drugs. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do we think about that? Because these are being used as date rape drugs, over half of sexual assaults will happen when you are under the influence of alcohol or of drugs. And recently, in stats show that college incidents of sexual assault and rape are on the rise. Um, so we really have to be careful about being in a sisterhood community when we're out with friends, make sure we're looking out for each other, yes. looking out for ourselves, and of course, watching our drinks at all times. Hey, bingo. I was gonna say, my mom always tells me, if you walked away from it, leave it where it was. Just say goodbye to the drink, because it's over from that point. I really would love to talk to you more. You are so awesome. Thank you so much for coming in. Well, thank you. You have a great interview. I love you. So smart and beautiful. Now, didn't we learn a lot? I think we learned a lot. She taught us a lot. Knowledge is power. We got to take a quick break, but more of Just Kiki when we return. Yeah.